No, I'm sorry. Uh, Friday and Saturday are all sold out. I do still have some tickets set for the Thursday night. You can. Great. No, two tickets for Thursday night. No problem, Vicar. <laughs> uh, right. Where were we? Uh, top of page 46. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Joyce, you see, what I was getting at, you know when people are angry, how they tend to talk louder and worry less about their diction and move their arms about and stuff like that? Well, I'd like you to try and imitate that. You know, it's called acting. But I'm doing my best. I know, I know. Perhaps we could do it better without the scripts. Ah, no, steady on. <laughs> Come on, Margaret. We are on tomorrow night. I think it's about time we tried it. <laughs> Hey, read this. Not now, Bernard, I'm rehearsing. Oh, you want to read this? Later. Read it! <laughs> uh, what is it? Read. But he can't do this. Looks like he's gone ahead and done it. Cabaret club? You can hardly blame him. We've hardly been raking it in over the years for him. Well, he could at least have told us. Do you really think that this man thinks people will prefer a cabaret club to good live theatre? No, but he probably thinks that they'll prefer it to us. <sighs> Opens April the 24th. Mm. So it really is the last tango in Little Grimley. What are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do, Joyce. We're going to give them a production that will knock them dead. Come on. Let's show them what we're made of. Positions, everyone. Let's um, do it without the scripts. Will you prompt? All right, I'll prompt. So it was the top of page 46, Margaret's line. I'd like to have a word with you, Mrs. Pilkington. Or you'd like to have a word with you, Mrs. Pilkington. Sorry. What's going on? What's going on? Between... 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 My husband and you. Uh, you and my husband. But it's all the same thing. What's going on between you and my husband. <laughs> Is it me now? Yes, Joyce, it's you now. How dare you? Yes. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Joyce! Come on! Angry, Joyce! Anger like me! Now I'm angry, I'm shouting, I'm moving my arms about! Try it again, Joyce, and this time, frighten me! Or you'd like to have a word with you, Mrs. Pilkington? What's going on between you and my husband? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> that frighten you, Gordon? <laughs> yes, Joyce. It scared the shit out of me. Look, people. We have one day left. One, and then the biggest audience you've ever seen in your life is going to descend on this place. Nobody even knows their lines. Come on, again, same place. Or you'd like to have a word with you, Mrs. Pilkington. What? Come up and give me an end. Can't you do it later? <coughs> what do I do till then? When do I get a tea break? Look, Bernard, just, just give me five minutes and then it's all yours, I promise. Five minutes? For oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Right. 
take it again from the top, and this had better be the last time. I'd like a word with you, Mrs. Pilkington. What's going on between my husband and you? <laughs> hold it. I'll tell you how I Hold did. it, hold it. <laughs> Joyce, what is this? <laughs> and you're the one who told me to wave my arms around. Just doesn't make me look angry. Yes, Joyce, but like an angry person, not an angry ostrich again. Oh, you'd like to have a word with you. Bernard! What's the matter now? Stop running about with the lights. I'm trying to rehearse. I'm trying to set the buggers. Stages don't light themselves, you know. Well, can't you do it later? Later? I'm building the set later, remember? But we can't see the scripts. What do you want to see the scripts for? You're supposed to know the words by now. All right, Bernard. You win. Put the lights back on. Come and build the dance set. But what about the rehearsals? I'll stuff the rehearsals. We'll just have to go on as we are. I mean, what does it matter? We're finished anyway. I'm off to the pub. Oh, prima donna. Treasurer's report? Well, in total, we spent £240 on lights, sets, costumes, and props. Total money taken at the door was £940.50. <laughs> that means that we have enough to pay off our debts and still have some left over. I suggest that we donate the remainder to a local charity. I'll arrange a cheque for that, Gordon. Thank you, Joyce. Well, I have to hand it to you, Gordon. As far as little Grimley is concerned, you are the most successful playwright this century. Well, I think the one that we really have to thank is you, Margaret. Uh, hear, hear. I bet that was a stroke of genius, Margaret. Well, <laughs> you know, we, they were on the verge of booing us off the stage. It was do or die. <laughs> well, nevertheless, it was a major personal sacrifice. So unexpected. You should see the letters I've had. Seventeen offers of marriage, three of which I intend to follow up. <laughs> and one letter of something far more disgusting, which I also intend to follow up. Well, unless anyone has any other business. No. Then I declare the meeting closed and move that we officially disband Little Grimley Amateur Dramatic Society. <sighs> well, that's it then, I suppose. I'm going to miss the old place. Twelve years we've been here. Just think, a cabaret club. At least we went out with a bang. And a song. And a capacity crowd. First time in living memory. Or should that be memory? <laughs> oh. I'm going to miss your subtle sense of humour, Bernard. I always did. Well, I'll be toddling off. It's a pity we didn't get a look at the left one, Margaret. I heard it's even better. <laughs> well, Bernard, maybe this is your chance. Eh? What's that? The sequel. More tangos in Little Grimly. We already have massive advance ticket sales. The only problem is that now Mrs. Pym is asking for 5% commission. But I don't understand. Well, well, what about the cabaret club? Ah, I had a call from Stan Fellows. Apparently, we're just the sort of act he's looking for. We're booked for the opening on Saturday night. Strictly professional, of course. <laughs> well, what are we all standing around for? Let's start rehearsing, Margaret. I think we need to work on that wiggle. Oh, 